Okay, in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to look at creating a little bit of live link workflow between Maya and After Effects. So if you remember, talking about um, adding or developing a link between um, After Effects and Maya, and what this does is it creates a dynamic bridge between the two bits of software. There is a little bit of setup work involved in it, and I'll put that together in a separate video. But in the meantime, what we're going to do is look at how it works. So if you just hit this little button, Adobe Live Link, and what it's basically doing now is waiting for a connection of um, After Effects. So you'll open up After Effects, so just come down here. Here's one I made earlier. I go to Windows, Extension, Autodesk, Maya Live Link, and you should get a little green light that should now change. So basically, it should mirror its each other. So if I open Maya, you can see this is called Untitled and in After Effects the composition is called Untitled. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a camera. So I'm just going to create a camera. Go to Panels, Perspective, Camera 1. I'm going to look through the camera and all I'm going to do is just do a very quick little bit of animation. I've already got Auto Key in turned on. Hit S on the keyboard and I'm just going to go to 200 frames and just sort of spin it around here. Nothing too extravagant. So you should see this sort of camera move. I'm just going to quickly pull this camera back so that we're not losing focus of the center origin. Now it's not going to be like a, an amazingly accurate camera move. Um, what I'll now do is create a polyplane. I'm just going to scale it up. I'm going to create a, um, a locator as well and, and I'm going to create a point light and I'm also going to create a spotlight the reason for this I'm just showing you what you can pull in a, um, what carries over into um, After Effects from my using this dynamic bridging system so I'm just now going to um, adjust the angle of this light. Right, so now if we go to Windows, Outliner, and select everything that we're wanting to take from Maya into this dynamic bridge, and then you right-click and drag it over, and then you hit this little um, sort of Send button. You can see there, it's just quickly sent those elements through. If you go to After Effects and open them up, everything should now be transferred over into... Um, in After Effects. Now what's happened is the plane has come through, it's it's basically a solid object as opposed to a cube, you wouldn't be able to transfer 3D geometry, oh let's try that, let's see what you get. Let's just quickly create a cube, I'd be very surprised if it did. Right click, resend. So what you can see is any elements that you add will hopefully get carried through, so is there a cube? What it's done is it doesn't bring through a cube because it does, After Effects doesn't understand 3D object. It will work with planes and it'll convert that plane into a solid object or a solid within After Effects. Um, but it doesn't understand 3D data. So what you'd probably be better off doing with that is uh, let's just quickly delete that cube. Let's maybe create another plane and then maybe just scale it up. And it takes the scale into consideration as well which is kind of cool so you might be a might find it's quite useful so let's just resend it through and then open after effects up again and you can see there it's resend it through we've got that dynamic link it's now moving through 3d space which is kind of cool now this is really useful for a number of different things for um additional composite and things like that but uh, yeah you'll find it's really really useful um as a vfx sort of tool Okay, so that's how you go about creating this dynamic bridge between After Effects and Maya, so you can send data from Maya to After Effects. Um, in the next video, we'll take a little look at getting After Effects data to Maya. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.